I got drafted on a Thursday night and then by Sunday morning had to pack all my stuff and go over and go to training on Monday morning. That was sort of a week or two after year 12 exams and my mates were about to go to school as they were on school it was that first weekend that I was in Perth, like getting a few phone calls from those boys and yeah it was just a totally different town and, and city for me that I'd never really been to and I guess I had nothing else to do but put my head down and, and work pretty hard and always been a guy that I don't really like wasting time I like to sort of get on with it and, and try and put my best foot forward as quick as I can and you don't know whether you're going to be there for two years or hopefully you know 10 plus years like a lot, a lot of guys are so I think probably looking back it was the best thing for me probably to grow up a bit forced to do a few things that I might not have done if I stayed at home with with mum and dad and yeah I think it's put me in good stead to deal with challenges and uh, and also deal with good times as well. So here he is at his first game Andrew Gaff having a good first game. Chance for the Eagles. Gaff comes on the ground. The super sub kicks a super goal. I played probably the first four or five games as a sub. With I think I had one full game in the middle there and then I got dropped to go get some match fitness in the waffle and geez I was upset about it at the time. I hadn't had too much go wrong for me in the first 18, 19 years so wasn't wrapped about it and played six or seven games at the waffle with South Freo and they were unbelievable guys and unbelievable footy club down there. They, they embraced me and as I said before probably forced me to grow up a bit and then came back in halfway, three quarters of the way through the AFL season and, and played the rest of the year. So yeah, it was an interesting experience, but very grateful for them and, and probably added to my growth as a person throughout that time. Well, the spark has come from Gaff, hasn't it, Jase? He's made good decisions, he's used the footy well, defies the number of games he's played, defies his age. Gaffy, 250 games, I mean, him and Jack Darling have been working side by side for you know, near on 12 years now. Um, not surprised, they're pretty close with the 250 games. They're coming together and they've been first class since the first day they walked in through the door. I think Gaffy's first couple of years, he was a sub a lot. And when I arrived at the club, he was a ready-made player that was keen to take it to the next level. So all Australian, he's always up there in the BNF and he's just got a passion to win and whatever it takes. So really proud of what he's done, proud of how he's handled himself at the club. He's such a professional and he's truly deserving the 250 games. Plus performance player Andrew Gaff is the man who didn't get that opportunity to play in the grand final. And Andrew Gaff will be just raring to get involved and get a touch of the footy. She's Andrew Gaff's just giving us a nice reminder, Cameron Ling, of how good a player he is. Sometimes you think about it, but most of the time, as athletes, you're just more worried about what, what's happening in an hour's time or tomorrow. Naturally, like Nick and like Shep and like a few other guys that, that missed out in, in 2018, yeah, it's yeah, you'd love to be a part of it and hopefully there is more to come for even guys that were a part of it, but that's why footy and professional sports so good at times. It's The ups are really good and the downs can be really tough as well, so it's very unpredictable, but no, I'm very grateful for, I guess, the journey I've had and I can imagine the excitement levels, good and bad, you probably don't experience that too much outside of our environment that we're so lucky to play in. Threading it through to Gaff, keeps it low and dead straight. I'd love to play footy for as long as I can. I love it and I love the challenge and the unpredictability. Trying to get the best out of yourself, trying to improve every week, all towards a common goal of winning is what I really enjoy and what I'll miss eventually. And the second thing is, I know guys speak about it a lot, but the, the team aspect of having 44 guys, different life experiences obviously, but all trying to do the same thing. And yeah, very proud to play so many games for this footy club and it means more and more as, as sort of each day goes on.